Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, more revelation, more revelation, okay? Revelation is something new. Uh, when I say revelation, it's something new that I did not know before. And it brings shock waves to me like, oh, what? Really? Wow. Okay, that's something that you don't learn in church. And you, you learn it through the Holy Spirit. Like, it just hits you like, bam, like a light bulb, you know? That's revelation, okay? Something that you won't get nowhere else but God, right? Okay, that's revelation. That's why God said whoever has more will be given. So you need better be questioning if you have eternal life. If you have more, if you have eternal life, more will be given. More revelation, okay? More stuff, miracles, whatever, everything, right? But if you don't have whatever you have, which is your soul and everything on this earth, will be taken away from you at the rapture, okay? Let's hope that doesn't happen. And, you know, I usually don't use this word. But, yes, subscribe to my videos if you want eternal life. Because I'm already, I'm already, God is already confirming that I'm going to make it. So, I know what the heck I'm talking about. So, if you, you know, and it all leads down to the Bible. And the Bible testify about God, okay? And so, basically, God is saying, go through the door, you know, basically don't go me. I'm the one who's a messenger, a servant of God, passing out invitation. And I see this in my dreams. I was, you know, one dream I was I had a bunch of invitation I had to pass out. And one dream I had a whole bunch of sperm to pass out. The sperm represent the Holy Spirit. And I was talking about we are chicken eggs. And uh, I got to give each sperm to each egg so they can become fertile, okay? So they can become fertilized with the Holy Spirit and be born again at the rapture, okay? So uh, um, here's the thing. God said that uh, nobody goes into heaven till they are born again. The board, I understand. Here's the clarification, okay? Conception and born again is two different things. I thought it was one. I got confused. And God said you must be born again. You must receive your new glorified body to enter heaven because this Corruptible body that meet heaven will explode like I explained in my uh, other video will be transformed at the fifth trumpet just like um transform how Moses got transformed with the new glorified body so that uh, God's awesomeness uh, awesomeness uh, you won't get consumed by this fleshy flesh so that's what uh, the rapture is it will transform so you can receive that new glorified body so you don't get consumed by God's awesomeness okay or heaven's awesomeness and uh, the conception okay once you accept God uh, you're not necessarily born again yet you are conceived okay just like a pregnant woman it takes nine months the time of the nine month is you walking with god and getting developed okay like i tell you the scenario most chicken just i was um you know counting on the ratio of normal chickens and eggs of this world okay uh you know how this world god said you know narrow is the way that makes a life so only a few that make it right so um there's about, we'll say at maximum 7% of the whole world, right? But in the, all the people that accept God, only a small, and then it goes opposite, only a small portion lose their crown, okay? God said, let no, nobody lose your crown it means these people were born again. You, a after you receive and believe in God and accept God, you can still lose your crown if you practice, if you practice lawlessness, sin, Okay. Which represent the one saved, always saved, okay? And check out my video. I was talking about that. It's a lie from the pit of hell. So, um, what I'm trying to say is the conception and the born again is actually one of the same but different, okay? One, right now, we accept God. We're being, oh, we are being, uh, con, you know, conceived with the sperm and getting developed. At the rapture, that's when we're bored again. Check out my video. They deleted it, but I'm going to have to repost it. So basically, in this video, I was asking a lot of fun and interesting questions to show you guys, you know, God still speak. And, you know, I listened to, you know, my brothers and sisters. And God had recalled, you know, I was asking, how would, how would, uh, after the millennium, how does sin work within this? Because I understand Okay, I understand that, um, you know, before before the millennium, okay, the seven years tribulation, uh, God said they repented not, you know. The, I had understand, okay, and again, bring this to God. 
I was able to go, you know, I, I had my, I was had my, um, my shoe, which is the bridal shoe. I get to go to the wedding feast and go to my rest area. But there was a race, the, the shoe, the racing, the running shoe. And I was greedy. I, I took up both shoes as in, I still wanted to run the race, even though I didn't need to run the race because I already overcome and I was already getting married and stay in heaven. But I, I choose to want to participate on you know what is left on in the tribulation right so uh i had to understand that um 144 not everyone will get murder okay when it says that you know they will get murder yes i see myself getting chopped but it's an optional thing not everybody will get murder or get killed in the tribulation um i'm talking about the 144 which is the two witnesses um, but I did see me leading a group of people into beheadings, right? Uh, so, you know, in a dream I had, you know, I, I understand there was three groups. One with red robes, and that was a few. And the other one uh, had white robes, which represent the innocent, a little child and little innocent angels and innocency, right? And then the person with normal outfit. Okay, these are the ones with a no normal outfit. I consider them foolish virgins. Or, you know, um, and then the other ones, the 144. The reason why I think that I was wearing red robe, it reminded me of Jesus wearing red robe. And I was telling uh, people that we're going to come back to execute judgment and we'll be kings and priests. So we'll rule with Christ, right? So that's why I, uh, that's the only reason I can see why I was wearing a red robe. I'm like, and then the lady that was taking the tickets going into the store said I was lucky. I'm like, lucky. I'm like, I, I was, I was like, why, why? But I, I noticed, okay in other dreams that I was in a class A flight, which is for the rich people, spiritually rich. Like when you obey God and you do what you need to do and follow God's word by the T, you get class A, okay? But when you just kind of lukewarm or whatever, you, you be class B, okay? You don't have all the abilities a class A would have, right? And I uh, I was explaining, and so I was asking a lot of questions. You know, so that's how a, uh, a child learned. I was asking um uh, because, okay, sin, okay, sin will blind a person, okay, it will block a person to receive spiritual gift, receive uh, life, to receive what they need to receive to have a luxurious life in heaven, okay, let's, or, you know, um, people think, okay, you know, there's ranks in heaven, there's different you know, uh, levels in heaven. So like how there's level in hell, there's levels in heaven. So, um, from the class A, okay. From all the class A people, I was the lowest ones. Okay. The low, one of the lowest one. Like I, I was, I was not quite there, but I qualified to be in the class A. Right. So, uh, what happened was to be leaders, kings and priests, like the, the people that actually, you know, go to the father Talk, get the mission and then you know come back and lead a group of people that's what that's why I call uh, uh, class a is uh, the, the the people that has authority over a big group of people some will be in charge of you know a, a, according to your talents right so um this is what I was saying in this video my point was in this video is uh why God says you worker of iniquity Turn from your wicked ways and I will hear you from heaven. Okay? Sin, okay? If you practice sin. Oh, go, go. Mommy, I'm busy. Mommy doing video. So uh, what I was saying is um, sin blind a person from receiving knowledge and wisdom. So people, the, the what was it? The once saved, always saved. They don't think they need to repent. This is where they've gone wrong. This is where truth and knowledge uh, their pride, okay, uh, it's all down to pride, okay, they think that they, they, they're perfect enough, they're good enough, that they don't need to repent, all right, so, and then they think that God's gonna clean up their mess, no, they need to, uh, ask God to help them clean up their mess, their sins, okay, God say, whoever overcomes such shit with me, what are we overcoming, the blood and the flesh, the, uh, the, uh, the blood represent sins that you over need to overcome and the flesh means words that you know, need to overcome like forsake all your riches and, and stuff like that the plenty of the words okay not the words that god left for uh, the the pharisees and, uh, and sadducees but the words that he taught himself to the disciples okay 
there's a difference in those, like when the word that God teaches, it's a radical versus the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they teach a, a different thing. Like Catholic, you're only supposed to give 10%. God's saying give all. Okay, his things he teaches radical. Like, um, you know, Catholic, I used to be Catholic, right? God was teaching, oh, you can't eat uh, meat, but you can eat seafood and eggs. I'm like, what the heck? That's not a real fast because eating seafood is more luxurious than eating meat itself. So that's why God was saying the way you teach things don't allow you to go heaven. Uh, nor you allow anybody to go heaven. And God said they are both a viper. They're reptilian, shade shifter. They're not even human, okay? A lot of people on this earth is not human. Uh, check out my other video. I, I basically explain everything. So basically what sin does is uh, sin basically makes you justify your own action to be right. You're actually trying to justify God's law. Okay, when you justify God's law, you're basically saying, when you're practicing sin, you're basically saying, I'm right, you're wrong, I'm not following the, the book, I'm not following God's ways. That's where, when God tells you something, you won't comprehend it. And, and, and you, because of your pride, and you thinking practicing sin is okay, it will lead you into this ditch, this outer darkness, okay? And so, you think that, your understanding is always right. So when somebody try to correct you, they can't correct you because your pride is so high. They can't even mount up to your pride because it's so high. It's always one step ahead of me, you know, because you're so prideful. And it's like, I'm trying to try to correct you. And you're like, oh, like this. And there's no way you can jump over a person that's so prideful to correct them so that they can see. Okay, that's pride. And, you know, when you're practicing sin, sin you're justifying God's word. You're thinking you're right. And you won't humble yourself. Like I say, humble yourself, humility. You know, all these good things is to allow you to see truth, to receive the gifts, eternal life, okay? So that's why God said, uh, if you practice sin, you're not going to be, you're not going to understand God's word. You're going to be getting thrown in the big delusion, okay? You're going to get tricked and tricked some more. You, by accepting sin, you accepting the beast already, okay? The mark of the beast is simply sin, y'all. The mark of the beast is to practice sin straight up. If you're practicing sin, you are of the beast. There is no seal. Okay, the seal of God is when you do it. When you hear my word and you do it, you stand on a wise person, stand on a walk. God is calling you wise. Guess what? Wise virgin. God is simply saying there is no, God had me understand. There's no mark of the beast. Okay, the seal of God is education. Okay, are you getting it? Are you performing it? That's that's a mark of God. You must understand it and perform it. That is the mark and seal of God. There is not a physical mark. Though the Antichrist want to make you think there is a mark. But they don't understand the number of man is the number of beasts. We are of the beasts already. There's no mark to be putting on. The day you're not born again, you're two-third. Which is .666, the mark of the beast. You are of the beast if you're not born again. You're born again, you conceive, you have God's spirit. Mama. Mommy's busy, didn't you? Yeah, mommy busy, didn't you? So the day, what I'm trying to say is, the day you're not born again, you are not, you're not getting, the Holy Spirit is truth and conviction and knowledge and wisdom, okay? It informs you and, and gets you to uh, become wise and, and, and be born again and have eternal life. Unless you you don't have the Holy Spirit, you, you're in darkness, right? So a lot of believers, they they believe, but they've never received the Holy Spirit. Check out my video where I was explaining this in depth that, you know, these people getting a water baptism and thought that was it, but they didn't understand the water baptism represent repentance. You got to repent of your sin. It's not the physical water that you actually need. You can do it or you don't. And I show, I told you, you really don't need it. It actually represents you needing rep to repent from your sin, is which is the blood. Whoever eat my flesh and drink my blood will have eternal life. Father, please forgive us as we forgive those who sin against us. And please give this day our daily bread. Okay, that the daily bread is the word. Please forgive us for our sin as we forgive those. That's the blood. It's all round down to the blood and the flesh, right? That's eternal life. So, what I'm trying to say is in the Great Tribulation, once uh, everything is, I think after, we'll say after the 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 tribulation okay after the the wrath of god or whatever into the millennium uh everybody will have the new glorified body but you still have a free will but the minute you start acting out of control you go back 
I believe you, because I had sense that you can go out of this, uh, um, well, I'll make that a different video.